This is a presentation of Tycon Systems product series featuring the TP DIN Monitor Web. Tycon Systems company focuses on solutions for remote power and communication sites. It maintains two basic sub-brands supporting that mission. Tycon Power Systems focuses on providing and adapting power in remote locations. Tycon Wireless products are dedicated to sending and receiving data to and from those locations. A remote location can refer to over the mountain, down the river, across the road, across the parking lot, the other side of a building, or even just under your desk. The TP DIN monitor falls under our Tycon Power brand. It is a DIN rail mounted device that provides the ability to monitor the activities of your remote sites, as well as the ability to interact with those sites. Four independent voltages, four currents, internal device temperature, as well as an included ambient temperature thermocouple can be monitored and logged. There are four relay switches included in the device to remotely interact with your system in real time. Access to the device is via web or SNMP and can send email alerts automatically upon conditional triggers. The always closed relay switches reduce the power consumption of the device during normal operation, which can be critical cost reduction in remote site applications. Relays can switch automatically based on user set conditions for ping, time, voltage, or temperature, or controlled manually via the interface. As all Tycom products are designed to be installed in harsh outdoor environments, the temperature and humidity capabilities attest to the robustness of the device and the internal components used. This is an example of a design that incorporated the TP DIN monitor web to interact with our 100 watt continuous power remote pro system and wirelessly communicate with the central office using Tycon Wireless Easy Bridge System. Two water pumps are being maintained for a remote location on a cattle ranch. The TP DIN monitors the voltage across a float switch and turns on or off the pumps when certain conditions occur. Uncommon in most applications, the current required for the heavy duty pumps exceeds the 10 amp rating of the integrated relay switches, so the internal relay operates an additional external relay designed for the high current required for the pumps. The voltage of the battery bank is constantly monitored as well, since running the pumps at low voltage could damage the motors. It additionally monitored the current going through the pump to confirm whether or not the pump was actually running. The operator of the system has the ability to override the conditional setup and turn on or off the pump from any network connected device. Incorporating a video camera added visual monitoring and is turned on via the TP-DIN monitor only when the operator is actually checking. This saves stored energy for the critical purpose for this installation, which is making sure the cattle have the water they need. The monitoring page of the interface is designed to be easy to read. The relay switch toggle buttons will always ask if you're sure you want to shut off the relay in case that relay happens to be attached to the device you are actually communicating through. If required, simply use the cycle button to power cycle that device. The monitor will shut off the device for a determined period then turn back on and reconnect. The fields below the toggle buttons show current readings from each of the monitored components. The system page of the interface allows you to change names and identify which device or circuit is being monitored. The normally on relay switches can be toggled to be off as a standard position. Voltage and current offsets can be used if you are monitoring devices in series or parallel circuits to discount the other devices in that circuit. The log interval field determines how frequently the onboard data logger records measurements and can record 1300 data sets. That equates to almost two months of data when the data is logged hourly. The data can be saved to a computer spreadsheet from the log screen of the interface. The control tab contains the inputs for automatic control triggers. With pin control the system can test communication with other devices in the network at determined intervals and conditionally respond automatically with a power cycle. The time control provides time of day reactions like turning on a camera at 5 p.m. and back off at 8 a.m. for nighttime and after hour security. Voltage or current conditions can be used to ensure batteries are sufficiently charged. Any system with extreme temperature potential can turn on a heater or a cooling fan based on set temperature conditions to avoid damaging expensive components and equipment. These conditional responses can send an email to the operator whenever a specific condition occurs. Advanced notice of issues like low batteries, camera malfunction, or overheating can save thousands of dollars if an issue is caught before it happens. 
The TP-DIN monitor web is like having four voltmeters, four amp meters, two thermometers, and four switches all in one device. It also means reducing or eliminating technician time in the field, and in particular with remote locations the long travel times to remote sites. It's like having your own technician at the site at all times. We'll let you know when they need help. Thank you for watching the Tycon Systems product series. Check out our website for more information and join us for more videos.